Hello. This month in third grade, students are beginning to learn multiplication. I wanted to show you three strategies that we use to teach multiplication. I have a simple problem, three times two equals six. And one of the strategies is repeated addition. So my problem is telling me that I have three two times. So my repeated addition would be three plus three equals six. Very simple. The second strategy that we are teaching students is equal groups. So in this problem, three times two, it's telling me I have three groups of two. So we teach the students to draw three circles to represent the groups, and then we put two in each group. And then the students can count how many X's or dots that they've drawn. Um, in this case, they could skip count by twos, two, four, six. The th third strategy is drawing arrays. So an array is um, where we represent multiplication using rows and columns. So in the problem three times two equals six, oops, three times two equals six, this is telling me I'm going to have three rows with two in each row. So once they have drawn the array, students can count the X's and they get the product six. These are some simple strategies students can use while they are starting to memorize their multiplication facts. One way you could help at home is to use flashcards with your student or allow them to go on the computer. Um, we have several programs that they can use to practice their multiplication facts. Uh, we will also be starting division in the next couple of weeks. So in our next video, we'll talk about some strategies that we're using to teach students how to divide.